Hey, new thing. This is Josh Howard from the Central Asia region. And just wanted to give you an update on how things are going with the COVID-19 stuff here in India and, and you know, what our nation is going through in our churches. Um, basically, right now, the country of, uh, of India, is, which is where I live, is on complete lockdown. They've asked no one to leave their homes. The markets are only open uh, from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. every day so that people can get some essential items and things. But even when they go out, police are, are kind of scanning the area and, and trying to make sure people are staying within their homes, which honestly, uh, in a nation of 1.3 billion people, that's not going very well. Um, it's, it's very good for middle and upper class families, but for the poor, it's, it's, it's not, it, it's, it just can't work. I mean, people that live in slums or people that live below the poverty line or people that, I mean, we have literally millions of day laborers, people that are given daily wages for their work. Um, and, and all work is shut down right now. And so the people that used to make maybe a dollar or $2 a day, and they'd go buy their food for the day. And, or for the next day, and then they do the same thing the next day. When they were hand to mouth, I mean, they're they're struggling massively for for food and and for uh, daily necessities, and so it's a really difficult time right now. Um, the churches uh, have all been closed down um, because of the lockdown. And so the churches in India are not meeting right now. Uh, our local church here has put our services online and, and even on, a, on a, a cable network that goes into many different districts and states even. Um, and so we're able to, to provide some, some sort of normalcy with the church services with our local, uh, with our, with our local news channel and then also um, online. My father-in-law, Dr. Ajay Lal, who's the Apostolic leader for New Thing in this region, he's the one kind of leading that and, and doing a killer job. He's doing amazing. But for most churches in India, this is incredibly difficult. Um, most of them, most of the pastors in India live solely upon the offerings of their people. We have no online giving systems or anything like that. And so when churches aren't meeting, the pastors aren't getting their necessities met either. And so that's been an incredibly difficult situation for many pastors, leaders, and churches. And so I do want to ask you to please pray for Central Asia. Please pray for India and all the surrounding nations that right now uh, God would provide for them. Um, my son, he's, it's, it's, it's amazing how much faith... Uh, children have, right? There's a reason why Jesus said you need to uh, have the faith of a child. Um, my son, my 10 year old son, my wife was a little concerned about, uh, you know, how things are going to be happening and getting food and, and all of that. And he said, mom, uh, Jesus tells us we don't need to worry about that stuff. And if, if God can bring manna down from heaven, and if he can feed 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish, then he'll take care of us. And he's going to take care of the pastors. And, and so, it's amazing the the type of faith kids have, um, and and so uh, we need to we need to remember that, and we need to remember that God is in control, that uh, He is still sovereign, He is still on the throne. None of this surprised Him, and uh, and we need to keep that in mind. Um, but please pray for the strength, for the boldness of our leaders. Um, many of our networks in India are using this as an incredible time to love their neighbors, to, uh, to continue to serve them in great ways. And, and in order to um, you know, help pray for people and, and share the, the wonderful, beautiful love of Jesus with as many people as they possibly can. We've been meeting a lot over Zoom with our leaders and uh, continuing to do training even online and through Zoom and stuff like that with people that have internet. Um, and so that's been a really, really good thing. Uh, we've heard incredible testimonies of God moving in spite of all of the difficulty in India, still moving to push the kingdom forward and, and to start new groups and discipleship groups and churches, even in the midst of all of this. And, and so please uh, thank God with us and continue to pray that God would give our people boldness, that he would give our people wisdom. And then he would give our leaders of this country wisdom on how they make plans, especially for the people that are in poor areas. May we, during this season, new thing, may we uh, look at this as an opportunity to really begin to start movements all over. I mean, this is a time that could literally be kind of like the scattering of the church in Acts 8-1, right? When, when persecution came and the church was scattered, and that's how the gospel spread. This could be a time where we are being scattered and, and we have to meet in small groups and we can only meet sometimes online. 
where we could really lean into this and begin movements of discipleship and church planting, even through Zoom and, and through online uh, opportunities where we can get small groups of people that know how to lead church in their home. They know how to spread the gospel. They know how to make disciples. And this could be an amazing opportunity for that. So let's not lose hope. Let's not lose heart. And may we continue to push the kingdom forward, even in the midst of difficulty, and continue to pray for our brothers and sisters globally that are going through a really difficult time. We love you. God bless you guys. And uh, let's lean into this. Let's uh, put our faith in God like, like little kids, like my son. And, uh, and may we continue to push things forward for the, for the greater goal of the gospel. We love you. God bless you guys. And, and we'll talk to you soon.